Hi guys, it's me, Canada here, and today we are going to be um, doing a very special video. We are going to be talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite things about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, a couple of things is I'm sorry that I haven't recorded it in quite a while. Um, some things happened. Um, at first, it was because I wasn't really making videos. I was kind of lazy. Uh, the other thing is my computer actually did stop working for quite a while, and I did not know how to record on my tablet or my phone. Um, I tried actually doing it on my phone a minute ago, because I couldn't remember my password, but then it suddenly, I remembered it. Um, but yeah, it didn't work out so well. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, another thing is I actually have my nephew and my dog in the bedroom, so if you hear noises, um, that's them. He is pretty quiet, so, um, yeah... If you guys don't mind that, just kind of ignore it. Or if you find it kind of cute, then all right. Um, I'll try to keep them as quiet as much as possible. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get started then. So I want to talk about some of my favorite things about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I said do this because I had actually finished playing Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, I want to say about almost. Uh, not not a month ago, but not like a couple of weeks about almost a month ago. Um, it was somewhat a somewhat after Christmas when I uh, finished playing it. Um, and I really enjoyed Pokemon Sun and Moon. It was definitely I think one of my favorite games in general of in in all the Pokemon games. I think this is my number one favorite now. Uh, but yeah. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is, of course, uh, the starters. I want to talk about them in this video mostly because I don't think I'm ever going to do a video now of the starters and my sort of opinion on them and the evolutions. Um, so yeah, um, my, my, um, I really like the starters for this one. Um, I really like their evolutions. I think, um, I'm, of course, Team Lynn. Um, uh, the reason why, I, and I think I'm glad that would be Team Lynn. At first I was very hesitant because I really didn't like Incineroar's final, uh, Lynn's final design, Incineroar. Um, it was, uh, and I didn't know if I was going to choose that. It was going to be either Rollet or Popolo, because I really liked Popolo's design. It was very cute and very pretty. Not only that, it was a fairy type. Um, and, um, yeah, I ended up choosing, uh, Lit and, and Lit became a very useful Pokemon. I had it pretty a lot in front of my party a lot. Um, so, yeah, I definitely got a lot to, I uh, usually used them a lot. Um, but, yeah, uh, but, yeah, uh, the next thing is, of course, the Island Trials. This was definitely what I think a lot of people are, from what I've heard of, very sort of two-faced at. Some of them like it, some of them hate it. Um, there were some that were very lackluster, and I definitely agree with that, um, compared to some of the ones I like. Like, you know, I liked, um, the Jungle, uh, Jungle Lush one, or whatever it was called, um, where you had to go find stuff. That was kind of cool. A little frustrating, but kind of cool. Um, I liked taking the pictures with the fire trial. Um, <laughs> that one was kind of fun. Um, but, um, then there was, uh, I think I was going to say my least favorite one has to be the water one, mostly because I really didn't like it that much. The second least favorite has to be the dragon one, mostly, because it kind of just feel like, yeah, you just go in there and battle a couple of dragon-type Pokemon. Kind of sort of like the water one, in a sense, so you just go in there to try to find the water-type. It's very much like the water trial, except just with dragon-types. Um, so yeah, definitely is one of my least, those are probably my two least favorite ones. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, that's my, that's another thing I like about it. But I do really like the trials. I think it was a nice, fresh breath of air from the sort of gym, bad gym leaders that we got. Um, the next thing is... Of course, the characters. God, I love the characters in Pokemon Sun and Moon. They made me laugh so much. I just found so much enjoyment out of these characters, and they were just amazing just to watch. They were either really funny or really heartfelt. Um, 
I know Lily and uh, was definitely, I think, the character that surprised me the most, mostly towards the end. I mean, in the end, she started out very timid and shy, and then she really came into her own. But what surprised me about her is she went off to Kanto. Um, that was definitely something that sort of surprised me. I didn't expect her to go off to Kanto at the end of that, but she did, and that really surprised me, and I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, uh, the car the, uh, the evil team, that, that's something I really enjoyed. Uh, Team Skull, I think, is my number one favorite team. There's actually a poll on, I think, a Pokemon Amino, where it's sort of, it was either Pokemon Sun and Moon or Pokemon Amino, or the Pokemon Amino one, um, where they did a poll of the best evil teams, and I took all the evil teams from the main series games, um, and Team Skull won, which I was surprised. I was definitely expecting Team Rocket to win since they were, like, number one, since they were, like, you know, you know, the very first team. I was expecting them to win, um, but they didn't. Um, yeah, it, it surprised me. Um, uh, and this next one is definitely goes on with the characters, the storyline. I really enjoyed this story. It was a really good story. Um, Sort of uh, not as big and grand as I was expecting it to be, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I think I've heard a lot of people say this rivals the story from Pokemon Black and White, and I haven't really played much of Black and White, um, but from what I've seen from it, it definitely is, um, I think definitely can say it can rival that. Um... And it's definitely really a good story, and definitely very sort of, you know, um, I don't know how to say, very what I think fits the Alola region. It wasn't too big and grand, but I don't really expect that from what I got. From what, from what I saw from the Alola region and just everything, and I don't really expect it to be very big and grand. It was sort of more of like very heartfelt, especially towards the end when you were uh, getting, uh, Nebby to evolve into Lunala, and it definitely was sort of just very more heartfelt. It was definitely very more heartfelt. That's what I sort of got from the Alola region. I got very a lot of heart and sort of family and, you know, friends aspect. Just very sort of, you know, heartfelt sort of story, and that's what, that's what I enjoyed about it. It's very sweet and, uh, stuff like that. Um, so the next thing that I enjoyed about it was, this is one that I can't stress enough that I liked, no HMs. God, I liked that there was no HMs. Um, I, HMs to me were one of the most frustrating things because you either had to pick a Pokemon that could learn that, but then get rid of a certain type of move, so you really had to pick out your moves wisely if you want to do that, or just have one Pokemon that was going to be your HM slave. And finding a Pokemon that could learn a good amount of HMs was very frustrating. Um, so yeah, that was very a hard Pokemon. Usually you pick normal types, po normal type Pokemon, because they can learn a variety of types of moves. Um, and so yeah, um, you didn't have that here. And at first I was like, okay, when are we gonna get an HM? When are we gonna get an HM? But we didn't. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. We don't have HMs. We have the Pokemon writing service, and I, I quite enjoyed it. I like that we didn't have, we had that, and it's something that I very much hope continues either in the remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, or in the next installment of the Pokemon games. So, hopefully that works. Um, I really want it to work. I really want it to stay in there, and were and, you know, be something that, you know, is a new sort of thing in there, but, um, yeah, the next thing is, this is another one, just like the HMs, is something that I loved about Pokemon Center Moon, the Pokemon Refresh, God, I loved Pokemon Refresh, it was definitely one of my favorite things about Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, the fact that you didn't have to go and buy a bunch of uh, statish potions, like, Paralyzing Heal, Awakening, and, you know, Burn Heal, and all that stuff. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite things. Though, really, I didn't come across a lot of status conditions anyway. Like, there were some. Um, but, yeah, I really liked that aspect of Pokemon Refresh and um, using it. And it's something I really, and I really do hope 
stays in the either next game or the remake of Diamond and Pearl, because I know a lot of people have been talking about a remake for Diamond and Pearl, which I may do a video on that, um, but, uh, yeah, it's something that I really hope stays, more than I, than, more than the writing service, I can handle an HM slave, even though it's super frustrating, but I don't really like the whole status conditions and having to get, either find someone to heal me up, or, because I like to train at a Pokemon, near a Pokemon Center all the time, so, the fact that you can get, uh, so that way I don't have to buy stat, status potions and stuff, but, um, yeah, I really do hope that stays in the games and gets used, <clears throat> used a lot, used again, um, the next thing was the, um, Alolan Pokemon. Alolan Pokemon was definitely one of my favorite things. One, another one thing I really liked about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, I really like the aspect of different Pokemon. Like, it really feels like real life. Because we do know in real life there are Pokemon. There are not Pokemon, but animal species that are like, they're the exact same species. But depending on which region they're from, or not region, but what place they're from, like. Um, you can have maybe a turtle from, like, a tortoise. I know, I know Mr. Buddy uh, did this, he's another, he's a Pokemon YouTuber, um, show two tortoises, one from the desert and one from sort of like a, not really a jungle, but very much a lot of vegetation and stuff. Um, he, he showed that and they showed that they were sort of look different. And it's very much like, you know, in real life, you know, we have that in Pokemon Center and I like that. I like, you know, Sand Slash being an ice type. Uh, and, you know, having that sort of new typing. So the only one I didn't understand was the Rattata Dark Normal type. Uh, I don't know why that was a Dark Normal type. I'm just confused by that. But, yeah. Uh, but I really liked that. I liked how it mimicked real life. And I hope that stays. Though I can't understand if that's only going to be a Pokemon Sun and Moon thing. And I wouldn't be too mad if it did, if it, if it, um didn't, uh, continue in later games, or at least maybe it was sort of like a special thing, like, oh, you could trade with the NPC that had, you know, an Alolan Pokemon or something, um, or, you know, it was like, uh, something that you could get after, uh, post-game or something, I don't know, um, but yeah, the next thing is Z-Moves, and this one is something that I hope continues, but I'd understand if it didn't, um, uh, I really liked Z moves mostly because they made me laugh a lot. <laughs> they definitely made me laugh a lot throughout the games. Just the way that they were set up, like pulverizing pancake and then the normal type Z move, uh, that looks like you were just like on a skateboard or something and you were just rushing into something. <laughs> but yeah, I quite I quite enjoyed it. Um but I do understand if it's not going to be in another game or if that's going to be sort of like another special type of thing. Um, so, yeah, that you may not get until either later in the game or um, until uh, or uh, or won't get it at all. So, yeah, I do understand that. That might be something that's strictly in a love line thing. But I, I don't know. Part of me wants to believe that's going to be in another game, mostly because it feels something like Z. It feels something like Mega Evolution, where it's still stuck. But unlike Mega Evolution, Z moves feel like something that could strictly be in a Lola region thing, um, where Mega Evolution could really be anywhere. I mean, it's basically just stones that you know involve basically help evolve a Pokemon further. Uh, but, yeah, um, the next, let's see what the next thing is. I'm trying to think, because I'm doing this all on top of my head. I really don't have a list for this. Um, uh, the fact that you could get Zygarde. I love the fact that you get a Zygarde cube in the game. Now, this is more of a personal thing. I just, I used Zygarde a lot. Um, but, yeah, I really like the fact that you could get Zygarde. And I, I don't know if you consider this part of the list or not, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that, um, I think that's pretty much it that I liked about Pokemon. And there were, of course, other things that I liked about Pokemon. Sun and Moon. Um, uh, so, yeah. Uh, also, I liked QR scans. I liked the QR scans. I haven't really done too many of them, but um, I really liked them. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, 
So, yeah, let me know, so let me know what you guys think of this video down in the comments below. Um, also, something else is I recently had a birthday a couple of days ago, um, January the 6th. So, if you want to be really nice and wish me a happy late birthday in the comments, you can. Or even like, subscribe, give me as a present, like, subscribe, um, on this video. So, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that, um. But yeah, um, um, I guess that's a uh, goodbye for now, and I will hopefully try to get more videos out soon. Um, I'll see how many I can get through today. Um, so yeah, goodbye everyone, um, and hope you have a great new year, um, as well. Um.